Okay, so now I'm going to teach you a little bit about um, quick sketching, or actually uh, speed painting rather. Speed painting, first thing you want to do is you want to get a silhouette. And if I want to, whenever I, I make silhouettes of things, I try to think of silhouettes of sticks. So especially for, for um, whenever I'm dealing with people. With people, I want a, sil a stick silhouette. So as I said earlier, distance is all about being able to compare. I've got you know one small shape, one big shape. Uh, it appears that one thing is getting closer than the other, so I have to be able to compare between these two things. So if I want something to get closer, I need to do that. See, so now I have a side. Oops, I have a side of this which has appeared to advance. So being able to make things get closer and get further. Um, this is a very, very important skill. I'm going to make this advance as well. There. So that's, this is the rudiment. This is the most rudimentary skill, and this is what you're going to be doing the whole time, is you're going to be trying to make things appear to get closer and further. If I want this side here to get further away, then I'll have to use a smaller line. It's as simple as that. So. Being able to get depth in, in a simple silhouette is a, uh, that's the beginning. Okay. So really it's still drawing, it's just drawing with a fat brush and then closing up the shapes. Okay, so if we wanted to do a person, let's say a person who is sitting down, uh, let me first give him something to sit down on. Okay. Now, in the case of the person sitting down, I'm going to draw just a simple stick. I'm going to have, let's see, I want him to, this part to get closer, so I'll have to use a smaller connection down there. So this is how I get him to sit forward. If I want the lower torso and the legs to come forward, then I do the same thing. I have to take this small area, and then I have to make it wider at the front. Let me use a different color. Uh, let's see. Okay, so just so you can see what's going on. There, I made this part get closer. And if I want to get further away, then I have to do the same thing. I'll have to take something that's maybe this wide and take something that's that narrow and make it go away. That, that's the same thing here. Uh, if I want this, if I want the arms, the shoulders to come forward, the, the arms and shoulders to come forward, I have to make it wider. So let me choose a different color. So this is just the shape. Being able to make things get closer. Same thing with the head. Like the, the head may join to the, the, the torso there, but at the top it's going to have to be wider because I want it to come closer. Fill it in and let me just shade the bottom of it so you can understand. So it's a cylinder. Everything is, is just a matter of creating a lot of these cylinders and sticking them together. So what happens if you wanted to do something like, say, uh, a landscape? Well, it's the same thing. Um, suppose, for instance, you can sketch it out. There's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of sketching. But I'm not going to spend too much time on the detail because I'm going to be painting over it anyways. So same thing. Short line, you have to be able to compare big line versus short line so it gets closer. Now, I want to indicate that it is, uh, you know, it's, it's that we have sunlight coming in from the top and coming down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the predominant color, the sh predominant shadow color. I think I'll probably use that. I don't want it to be too dark. So I've got a predominant shadow color and I'm just going to fill that in this side because the light's coming from the left and falling towards the right. So this entire face of buildings is not in a position to catch the light. It's, it's facing the wrong way. So the light's all going to fall down here onto the street. It's going to fall from left to right onto the street and wherever the buildings are, are Let's see, I think if I look at this line and I compare, uh, that line drops down there, 
that line's going to be taller, so that goes there. Okay, now I can connect these lines. Uh, I have this line, I want this line to come closer, so I'll have to make it longer and make it intersect. So now I can cast a shadow. There, I've just indicated all that falling into shadow. So I'm just scribbling just because I want to fill this up really fast. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So there you go. Um, you want to put in windows? Fine. Just it's the same thing. You put down one line, you have to compare this line with the other line. That makes it that makes one edge of the window closer than the other. It's it's not rocket science. Uh, it's really easy. Okay, so yeah, you can you can easily throw in windows and, and whatnot. Just try and keep them in proper perspective, get the vanishing points. Uh yeah, you can also throw in silhouettes of things, so you know, if I had an extension to the building that was taller, then this side here, all this area here, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that that lit, just because the the direction that the sun's falling. But once you do something like that, once you change this this object up there, that means you're going to have to change the shadow as well. So anytime you make Changes to uh, something. Look around to see if uh, if you're if you're affecting shadows elsewhere. It's like that. Um, let's say, for instance, I'm gonna go back to drawing people again. Um, let me choose a color. I'm gonna try and make a person out of red wax. So I want the person to be backlit. So if he's gonna be lit from behind. That means most of his front is going to be in shadow. So I'm going to use the shadow color of the red wax to create him. I want the, the, the lower torso to come towards us. Okay, and then I want the knees or the legs to get further away. So I'm just going to see that. I have to compare. That's short, wide, short. Just like that. And then what else? Ah, arms. Bleh, bleh. You know, I'm not thinking about arms right now, but if I'm just gonna take this this generalized shape here and light it, then I'll take the lit color and backlit. Just hit that up. Now I'm just hitting all the areas with the specular. And then just lighting the areas where the light is spilling over, but taking care not to affect the shadow regions. And yeah, it's, it's like that. It's pretty simple. If, on the other hand, <coughs> I had a character that was lit from the front, then I will choose a lit color. And I will use predominantly the, the same, you know, I'll, I'll use the I'll use the lit front color. Except down here, I'm going to have to use maybe I'll use that, that, sh that shadow color. Maybe I'll use this lighter shadow color. And, uh, oh, hang on. Darn it. I want to use this as my lit color. Okay, there we go. So, same thing. Get the silhouette to read. Put distance into the silhouette. Choose my shadow color. I'll use that as my shadow color. And then shadow all the areas that the light is not hitting directly. There, I've managed to get that sense. And if the light is falling left to right, then the right side is going to wind up falling into shadow. So I'll just apply a little bit. Anyway, we'll continue this in the next episode.